Welcome to the second episode of Tech Talk Show. In today's episode, we will introduce our company, Silicon Valley Global Philippines, and to introduce to you our CEO, Muhammad Sajad Khan. Welcome to Tech Talk Show. Silicon Valley Global Philippines is a developing digital ecosystem, revolutionizing the technology which made our life easier, better, and faster. We believe in modern technology will make the world more organized and virtually we can even make our digital economy more sustainable society. To do that, we, we will talk about today how the Silicon Valley Global is making our life more easier. What are the modern technologies that we are using to our uh, ecosystem, digital ecosystem that Silicon Valley is been developing and, and, and uh, uh, developing right now. So on, on today's episode, we'll, we'll deep dive and we'll talk about how we are going to have a better solutions or a better systems that we are using in our digital platforms that we develop in Silicon Valley. So today I will ask uh, in the in the beginning, I will ask, um, I will introduce Ali and I will ask him to do a little introduction about himself. My name is Mohammed Ismail Hussein J. Khan, 16 years old. I am currently a senior high school grade 11 student and I'm doing a part-time full stuff development in, in Silicon Valley Global Philippines. And I, I am specializing in the back-end development. Okay, so you were, you were saying that you are specializing on the back-end development. So you are a full stack developer, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you mean by a full stack developer, Ali? Uh, full stack developer means you know about the client and the server and the database. So, in the client, which is the front end, mm -hmm. and the server, which is the back end and database, which stores the data. So, if you know three of these components, then you would be uh, a full stack developer. Okay. So, so that means you are a full stack developer. But yes. what is your uh, choice from this full stack developer we were you were choosing to become a back-end developer right yes so uh, why do you think you are uh, you like the back-end because in the back-end uh, there is more logic and data processing to be done there then there are data algorithms and yeah more more on the back-end process is more about logic okay so so that means you are a guy who believe in logic yes <laughs> okay so so you 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 believe in logic analytics and uh, that part of the, the application so yes. that's that's basically what uh, what makes you like uh, back-end development of our uh, uh, solutions that we are, we are developing right now okay let's uh, let's get it to the next step uh, what are the technology or what are the back-end solutions or the system or solutions providers that we are using on, on on your backend solutions or backend platform, we can say. So the backend solutions I am current we are currently using right now is Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime environment for the backend, and it's and the web framework that we are using is Express.js. While for managing our APIs or data queries, we are using GraphQL, and for our for the Apollo, we are using it to manage GraphQL uh, schemas. And for our database, we are using MongoDB for a document-oriented data, uh, database managing system. Okay, so let's get, get it into to the beginning. So uh, why do you think is uh, Silicon Valley is using, or as a backend developer, you are, you are uh, using uh, Node.js instead of, there are, there are a lot of uh, industry in the, in the, in the uh, backend, there are a lot of industry standard, um, solutions or softwares that been used why you are using node.js what makes you what makes us the different uh, from them for using node.js so for the major difference for node.js uh, there is not much of a learning curve when you understand basic javascript you could go or deep dive into node.js and learn some syntaxes and yes and you can start with making the server environment then you can make the authentication then you can connect to the front end uh, already okay okay that's that's very good so so uh, on the on the node.js so you're using 
what is the framework you are using on the Node.js? Express.js. Okay. Why you are ex using the Express.js on the uh, Node.js? First of all, because of its popularity. <laughs> of course. Then I noticed that many people are using it at the same time. There's there's been some benchmarks. Then there are some faster faster performing uh, uh, frameworks. Okay. Yeah. Frameworks. But uh, Express seems to be the most stable one and uh, many people, yes, of course, popularity always, you know, popularity always mean majority. Then many trusted uh, big companies are using Express for their uh, solutions. solutions. Okay. So, uh, so beside uh, Express, yes, you, are, you mentioned that you are using uh, MongoDB on the, on the database. Uh, what, what makes you use MongoDB on the database? Not, uh, not MySQL, not PostgreSQL, or not any other uh, database solutions out there? Uh, since MongoDB is uh, very easy to use, uh, usually it's like a JSON type of data document oriented, mm -hmm. so you could get easily get data using the GraphQL. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, it's it's like very compatible with the uh, MERN stack I'm using, which okay. is uh, MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. So, okay. uh, because of the compatibility and uh, how fast the data processing works. Okay, that's, that's very good. So. So that's basically why we're using uh, MongoDB right now. So uh, let's get into a little bit deeper. What do you think is uh, is the future of of our uh, uh, backend platforms? Is it uh, gonna hold that the, the JavaScript is gonna hold, or Node.js is gonna hold the future, or there are something more uh, excite, excitement or more exciting solutions are. Uh, on the on current market that we are uh, we, we, we you are watching out. Uh, as we know, technology is always evolving. So mm -hmm. of course, there are many solutions that is going to be happening in the future. For example, the Bun.js, we which will replace the uh, Node.js since it's very, as seen in the benchmarks, not yet stable, but it's in better version right now. Uh, it's very fast, very faster, like two times or maybe three times faster than Node.js. And there is also Dino. But uh, I think Bun will uh, be better. Overpass. Okay. Yes, overpass. Bun, Bun and Node. Yeah, sorry, the Deno and Node.js are almost. Oh, yes, uh, almost similar. Same. I mean, the creator are the same. Yes, same. So, uh, so get, get to the point. So the the JavaScript that Bun.js is uh, doing today uh, are maybe on the beta stage. So you are watching out Bun.js to be to be something stable. that can be when it is stable. It can be something that is used. So because. Because today's world, we are we are always focusing something that is faster, yeah. that is more stable, and something that is uh, more secure to be used. So, so I think I think I believe I believe you. Uh, Banjas has a, has a future here, and uh, at the same time, I think there are a lot of other things that that uh, Silicon Valley today we are we are testing. We're we're doing a lot of better testing right now. Uh, we on our applications uh, like uh, we were not only using JavaScript in our in, in our platforms. We are not only using um, sorry, we are not using JavaScript in our in our platform right now. We are also trying to use other platform like uh, for for our artificial intelligence for our business uh, logics or or BI business intelligence and also for machine learning. Uh, there are a lot of other applications in the market that are uh, more uh, more uh, that has more extensions and has more uh, solutions uh, out there and uh, we can see like for example python is one of them that has a lot of a uh, lot of opportunities in the market to be to be the, the market leader for for the machine learning for the AI. ai artificial intelligence for for the deep uh, deep knowledge on uh, deep learning and and and, uh, and some other things like, for example, the neuro engine and some other things. So, so for the artificial intelligence, uh, do you think that uh, uh, the world is doing better today on the artificial intelligence, or we we are only birds of the of of, of just getting started? Uh, for me, I think we are just in the verge of getting started. Okay, so uh, what we can talk about is uh, I have seen I've, 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 I've started a lot of uh, things in Python. That, uh, I've seen uh, how Google is set, putting up their TensorFlow and some other applications they're using uh, along the way. I think 
still artificial intelligence are not something very stable to be to be used in applications i have seen a lot of mistakes in in, in facebook they are doing on on using artificial intelligence they are blocking a lot of a uh, lot of wrong people on the wrong time on the on, on, on wrong wrong profiles or wrong people so so i think artificial intelligence uh, putting up in the applications are we are still on the on the early stage but we, it, it has a very big uh, learning curve to the world right now so anyway uh, we will uh, work it up we're not going to stay uh, at, 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 at very long on these uh, conversations uh, uh, I'll, I'll get into the conclusions with you alip uh, why why you choose to be the backend platform specialist uh as i said before i really like logic so that's why i chose to be a backend uh, developer specialist okay so uh okay and that, that's very good and and uh, i what is your message to the future programmer who want to pursue as you uh my message for the future programmers who wants to pursue as the same uh expertise as me i would say never stop learning since uh, technology is always changing so there may be a better uh platform or uh, solutions to uh your making projects then uh i would say also make many real time uh projects not just post on youtube and copying them right. and yeah then also uh, i would say never uh, be afraid to make mistakes and when you whenever you run into a bug never give up also okay. uh, and That's also uh, i say <laughs> uh, and i always said that you also, you should always have a goal uh, because no one will arrive at a desired location without knowing what the location is it is so you must learn x before you understand y okay. then also Uh, never stop practicing, of course, and as they say, practice makes perfect. So I wish all the best and good luck to the future programmers. Okay, so again, you let's 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 go to the closing remarks. Okay, once again, I am Muhammad Ismail Hussain J Khan, uh, 16 years old, a uh, grade 11 senior high school student, and part-time full-stack developer at Silicon Valley Global Philippines, and this is about me. <laughs> That concludes our today's video of Tech Talk Show. Watch out for future videos.